What's up guys, Christopher from Crisis Point and welcome back to the channel. And this is the Call Me C61 smartwatch. This is actually a first for this brand in the Philippine market, although they have been in existence for the past 12 years now, but you can pretty much expect to see a lot of this in the coming months in the Philippines this 2023. So with that said, let's do this. All right, so this is the C61 smartwatch. Now, I'm very much excited to see what this thing brings to the table, considering the price point. But before which, here are some key features of the Call Me smartwatch, particularly a 1.9 inch display with a 230 milliamp battery, an IP rating of 67, and compatibility between iOS and Android. Now, inside we have a proprietary charging cable, a free screen protector, which you don't normally see with other brands nowadays, a user guide that gives you all the features and details on how to go about using the device, and of course, the watch itself. Now, initial impressions of this watch is that I was actually relatively blown away with the design or the materials used in creating the said product. The straps doesn't feel cheap, the sensors doesn't look cheap, and ultimately the design and feel in the hand is very premium. Now, what's interesting about the C61 is that there are numerous ways for you to actually operate the said device. Swiping down gives you the control center. Swiping left gives you a quick access to all those easy applications that you would normally use, as well as the time and details. Swiping up gives you the access to the messages notifications. And swiping left gives you basically the widgets on what is currently active on the said smartwatch. C61 also supports different kinds of support modes depending on your taste and fitness. and also comes with a few sensors that can help elevate and at least give you that level of guidance and peace of mind throughout your daily routine. Now on paper, it said that it has support for 150 plus watch faces and a few others which you can tweak and customize to your own, the majority of which will be coming through the mobile app, which you would have to use in synchronizing with the watch to have it activated. Now for a little comparison, on my right is the Galaxy Watch 5. Now personally, I would actually go for the Galaxy Watch 5 because of the size. But after using the C61, because of how lightweight it is and how fluid the screen is, I'm actually inclined to use the C61 more over my Galaxy Watch 5. Probably if there is anything that I'm not really that much of a fan of the Galaxy Watch 5 is the battery life. I would have to charge that thing after a day and a half of regular use. The C61 could last me a few days on a single charge, and that to me is a big plus. For the most part though, I think the one main eye catcher for the C61 is the screen. It is a 1.9 inch IPS LCD display, but unlike other smartwatches that has an LCD display, the screen itself doesn't look washed out. It actually gives me the impression this is an OLED display, which is a major win. Overall though, I think based on my initial testings with the C61, this is actually a very good value for money smartwatch in 2023. I'm sure there are other brands who will be trying to release a product that is a lot more cheaper, a lot more uh, affordable, but I am 100% sure it will not be of the same quality. Either these brands would come up with a cheap smartwatch that has a cheap strap that easily tears apart, or it's gonna be so affordable that the user interface is just janky and ugly. With Call Me, however, or in this case, the C61, you get a good balance of both. Premium quality feel, as well as a very responsive user interface, all for the price of just less than 2,000 pesos. That's a major win across the board. So if you are in the market to getting a new smartwatch that is both affordable with a high level of quality built into the package, this is it. And I'll drop the links in the description on where you can get this for the best possible price. If you have any questions or inquiries regarding this smartwatch in general, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy this quick review video of the C61 smartwatch from Comey, give it a thumbs up. And as always, consider subscribing to the channel for more check reviews and unboxing videos. Thanks again for watching. This is Chris once again from Crisis Point, and I'll catch you in the next. You know, mother,